Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Mariela. And I'll be more than happy to welcome you into this beautiful family. Today, I'm gonna be doing a little q and I asked you guys to give me some questions on my Snapchat and you guys actually did, so I'm here to answer them. So basically, I asked you guys to like ask me questions about like advice, if you guys needed any advice, or about lifestyle and stuff like that. So today is the day where I answer your questions. I'm actually surprised that I got questions because my sister was like, that's weird. And I was just like, I'm just gonna get started. So the first question, where do you buy all of your clothes? I swear it's so cute. Aw, thank you. And I'm pretty sure your style is really cute as well. I buy most of my clothes in American Eagle. When I go to American Eagle, I basically go to the back side of the store, which is the sale section because guys, let's be real here. I cannot afford their like brand new. When you walk into the store and you see all these like really cute clothes, no, I cannot. I have to wait like till the end of summer to purchase their summer clothes. I do get my clothes there and I also get my clothes in Roth. They're actually pretty, pretty cute there and they're very affordable. You guys should definitely go to Ross. It's Basically like you score or you don't score. <laughs> I feel like I go everywhere and I'm either lucky or unlucky and everywhere in every place I go. So I guess whenever I find something cute, that's where I get it. So it could be any store, but preferably I really love American Eagle. So this is a more of an advice question. What if my crush is playing with my feelings? This damn girl leave him. If he's playing with your feelings, trying to make you jealous, like by going with other girls. He's a no-go because imagine if you guys are really dating, he's gonna want to make you jealous and like what if something else happens? If he's playing with your feelings, then that's no man right there. He shouldn't mess with your feelings. He shouldn't be playing with your feelings because he should be conscious of them. Your feelings shouldn't be played with. So if he's playing with your feelings, bye. I like someone but they don't even know I exist. Make him know you exist. Like start talking to your crush, you know, like make them know that there is somebody out there that really likes them and maybe they'll get to know you and they'll start liking you too you never know so honestly my advice to you is to let them know you exist by starting to talk to them you won't regret it and it will be for the best make them know you exist girl make them know you exist having value or being worth something if you have value then you are worth something and if you're worth something then you have value so i guess it's not like an or type of situation. If you're asking what's better, having value or being worth something, they're pretty much the same thing. Everybody's worth something. Everybody has worth. Everybody has value. God made us individually. If you're struggling with like trying to find your worth, just know that you have worth and you're worth so much. If you're worth something, you have value. If you have value, then you're worth. Girl, I need advice on how to remove a toxic friend away from my life. Okay, so I know what you're going through. It's really hard to say goodbye to someone when you already have memories with them. So mm, start backing away from them little by little. If they're toxic, then you're gonna start noticing that change in you, that change in like your atmosphere, that change in your mind. Slowly stop talking to them, stop listening to what they say, stop being influenced by them. Like whenever they're like, oh, let's go here, don't, don't go. If they're telling you to do something, don't do it. If you don't pay attention to them, then they won't pay attention to you. Honestly, just, just stop. Were you nervous at all when you started your YouTube channel? When I first started, I was very nervous because you're looking at a camera. If you're not comfortable with a camera like literally pointing at you, and now imagine you having to talk to that camera, like that's just, that's weird and that's very nerve wracking. So yes, I'd have to say that I was nervous when I first started. It's also the fact that you're putting yourself out there for everybody to see, so you're just like, it makes you a little bit self-conscious kind of for everybody to see like how I really am. I feel like I was nervous for that but you get really used to it and I feel like it has taught me to have more confidence and not really care about what other people think about me because I am me and nobody can change that. Room tour. My room is just a square with furniture so I don't think you'd like to watch a room tour. Oh shoot I have low battery. How do I ask someone out? I haven't asked 
someone out. So I'm going to try my best to help you out on this one. I have confessed my feelings to someone and it was pretty nerve-wracking. I feel like it does come close to asking someone out. I feel like they're kind of the same thing. Basically, just go for it. I feel like if you've already talked to that person, if you guys are already close, then I feel like it's easier for you to like ask that person out because you can kind of tell if that person kind of feels the same way about you. If you guys have time knowing each other and you feel like that person kind of feels the same way, then you should totally go for it. Ask them out, you know, just be like, hey, I really like you. I think you're a really, I think you're a really decent person and you know, would you like to go on a date with me? Just be confident in yourself. But on the other hand, if you haven't talked to that person and you want to ask them out, then I think that you should get to know them better. If you ask someone out without getting to know them, that's a no-go. You should first to know that person and then ask them out and just do the same thing. Don't stress too much about it and just be yourself. How's your face so clear? <laughs> Saka skincare routine. My skin is... My skin hasn't been behaving. I have like a pimple like right here in the middle of my forehead. So that sucks. But when it is clear, basically I use a cleanser and a moisturizer. Before my sister started going to a dermatologist and she got her little like products, I started using them too. Before that, I used the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser which also worked for me as well it refreshes your face and you feel really hydrated i used to use that which works the same thing so now i use her product it's called um, glow media and it's an exfoliating cleanser so i use that and then i sometimes use this gel for like your acne and your blackhead after that i put on my moisturizer which is the same moisturizer it's the pons one so i really 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 like that one it's not too heavy but it does keep your face feeling moisturized and hydrated throughout the day okay, what do you recommend me to do if i want to change my attitude i want to change i want more people to trust me but if you want to change your attitude you should recognize what is making you have that attitude and try to change that first you can't make a cake without ingredients so first you have to know what is making you have that attitude to be able to take your attitude away. Also being more positive as well. You always have a positive insight to everything and that will definitely give you a better attitude towards things. If you want people to trust you, then definitely always be caring towards everybody, always be nice towards people. Then they'll start developing trust around you and they'll think that, oh look, I can trust that person because they're always asking how I am, how I feel, um, without being sort of like clingy. You can't have a cake without frosting, am I right? Hi, Adrian. <laughs> My voice changed. It's the next morning and I'm filming like the other questions because I received some late at night. I thought I was done, but I wasn't. Your guys' questions are deep, man. Help with fake friends or something. I lost all my friends last year because they all turned out fake and I even lost my best friend this year because she ditched me. So I guess advice with friends in general or something, feeling lonely is the worst. It's kind of like the toxic people question. I feel like the best thing you should do is just start leaving them because they aren't good for you. Worst thing they're gonna do is just not make you happy. Maybe like, have you thought that maybe it's you? I'm not like, oh yeah, it's you. Like, no, I've lost people because of my attitude. So just to know that people come into your life whether it's for life or whether it's to teach you something don't worry if you lost friends because maybe they weren't good for you after all did i lose them because they wanted to leave me or did i lose them because of my fault because of my attitude so if it's the case about you then you should definitely try to change that change your attitude and then people will start noticing that you're somebody that they can rely on if it's the case that they just left because they wanted to then girl you don't need them you deserve people that care about you you should find other people that you know really that will stick by your side and you should just lose all contact with them because those are not people that you should be hanging out with if they really care about you then they shouldn't be ditching you or leaving you i know feeling lonely is the worst but you should find something that makes you really happy like whether it's reading, whether it's baking, going out on a run, playing a sport, that is going to make you feel less lonely and you're doing something you love. So that's even more great. Those were all the questions. Thank you for everybody who left a little question of advice. I hope this helped you. If I answered your question, then I hope that, you know, this serves you well. I honestly really loved it. I'm glad that you guys did. 
um, put questions, it makes me feel really special. If you're going to try any of this, I'm just saying what I would do. So, you know, if it doesn't work out for you, <laughs> Don't blame it on me. I'm just trying my best to give you my best advice. I'm not God. I can't solve all your problems I hope this helped you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye